Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Conquer's Hyrule Tale. In the last episode, we cleared out the... whatchamacallit? We cleared out the f s optional dungeon and defeated the optional super boss. In this episode, we're going to uh, finish out the rest of the game. So let's quickly do that. Alright, start by heading this way. Kick this over so it lands there and activates. Make sure that switch is hit again. Whip out the rock's feather and then immediately switch to the one ring. Because you want to go through this. For all efforts we get, DNA piece. Not a fragment, a full piece. Well, let me move the mouse. And we just go exit the TARDIS and come back in. Be sure to hit the switch before going to the right. It'll actually save us a lot of time. Let's get back on the Deku Seed. Get it close to the edge. And then, uh, kick it. There we go. Once it forms, jump on over and then just go straight up this time. You think that's where the dwarven ring would be, but it's not. That's just a fret DNA, p just a full DNA piece. Alrighty, our real treasure is right here. Dwarven ring of force. I should have just jumped off to the hole. That would have been faster. But whatever. Let's do our breathing exercises, conquer. You're probably curious to why I didn't make a video yesterday. For one, I uploaded that uh, the day before and had it published yesterday. And then yesterday I got really sick because I got a stomach bug. But I'm feeling better today because it seems to have passed. And now our mom's got it. How fun, right? Alright, let's head this way. So we're going to get the last bit of the things we actually need. Set her down. Fly on to the right. We can't go up right now. Be quick, though. Time is limited. And the item we get to make that timer trivial comes way too late. Why? Because really? Because reasons. Alrighty, quickly push this block. And then jump off to your doom. Because that'll get us back to this chest faster. Now, you're probably not going to be able to do all this in one shot. But damn it, we're going to try. So fly up, get the Dwarven Ring of Force. Skip the dialogue, because we've seen it a million times. Fall down the hole, and then rush back up. Are we going to do it? Only ten seconds left. Hit the portal to find a chest, and that chest contains a DNA fragment. One more to go. Alright, uh, we're not going to be able to make it back in time, so... Alon C. Alright, uh, we wanted that to happen because now we're going to use our rock's feather to head this way. Jump across. Now get your Deku Seed out. Lay it down here. And then ride the rails to success. Because in here we have two small keys I forgot to get. Oops! Alrighty, small key number one. Set her down and then ride it back across. Now we're not going to really have enough time to go up there and get it. So what we're going to do is head south and get another fun little item. Let's get out our dynamite. So head down, but instead of taking the go north portal, we're going to go south. You find yourself in the grocery store. There are a rack full of magazines and a teleporter. Sadly, you can't take the porn magazine, so enter the teleporter. To end up at the Simpsons house. Oh, wrong thing. Alright, get a super bomb ready, and then set it down. To blow a hole open in the garage. That we get the fourth and final DNA fragment, which gives us our, another full piece. 
Did we make it to the Lost City of Gold? Uh, just how many beers did you have? Mmm, beer. Yeah, that was our little Sim Simpsons reference. You can knock on the door there, but you'll just waste your time. Alrighty, let's head this way. Because we got one more small key to get. Yeah, I told you this would take like five, six minutes. Whatever, let's just grab the last small key. Yay. Now let's actually take that off. Jump down the hole. To save some time. And let's leave. We actually have one more ring. We have two more Dwarven Rings of Force left to go. So let's quickly nab those. You're not going to believe where one of them is. Alrighty, enter this door, so we'll go get the last one. This is the highway to hell, by the way. We're going to head up and here to the left. Alright, let's get out our golden rod, because we're going to need that. So we can push this block that's guarded by a chain chomp. Alrighty, once it's done doing its thing, hop on down here. Use your one ring to go past the bumper. To get the 19th ring. Sweet! Only one more to go. Oof. Yeah, there was really no avoiding that damage. Alrighty, let's use our golden harp. And head back to LA Hyrule Noir. Now we're gonna go a different path in the Lost Woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go to Ganon's Hideout. So... All you want to do is head up, left, then down, then take it to the right, watch the dumb shit's guide, head up, take one more left, then head down and up, respectively. Ta-da! You've made it to Ganon's Lair, the final boss. So get your fire mushroom ready. Imprisoned for 10,000 years. Banished from my own homeland, and you dare enter my realm? You are not prepared. Oh, am I'm ready for this. You think you do, but you aren't. Prison taught me one very important lesson. Well, too, if you count how to hold your soap, but yes. Survival. Look, can we fight already? I have 10,000 other games to play after this, and I don't have 10,000 years ahead of me. So be it, champion. Feel the hatred of the 10,000 years. And Luna thought she had it bad. Alright, get out your golden rod after lighting those torches, and make sure you're holding X this entire battle. Because it'll let you track Ganon when he teleports. So we'll start wailing on him as fast as you can. There we go, we want him to stomp the ground just once, and then immediately fall down. And will he be greeted with the chest, fairies, and the final dwarven ring? We now have everything in the game required to get the best ending. We're not going to do that quite yet. We're actually going to head through this painting because we're going to get an optional piece of gear. I may as well show the rest of it off. Also, remember that Jill thing in the mansion? That's where you get your fourth belt. So yeah, I could have gotten 100%, but really, you're going to really need the fourth belt. I've pretty much gotten 100% of this game. I've got all the main things. So if you want the belt, just head there. Alrighty, jump across, then immediately put back on your Deku Seed. Prepare to take a nice ride. Also, when you're riding away, get your green uh, boomerang on, or red, depending on what you decided to do. Alright, get about right here and wait. 
If you'll see a green little magnetic key card, take it. Sweet. So what's our prize inside the giant chest? Well, you remember that timer? Say goodbye to it. Because with this, we get the TARDIS key. It'll allow me to stop time itself, but I'm guessing it will probably only work in one very particular location. It'll also allow me to travel back to the beginning of the dungeon. It's basically the mirror. Alright, with that, the timer is now gone forever a little too late, if you ask me. But there's really no other way to get this until after the Jedi Academy. I right, get out your one ring and quickly make your way across all these spikes. I want you across, take it off. Switch to your golden rod because we have an optional boss fight. And at last we meet again, Link. Who the hell could you be? Naughty, 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 you filthy old Sumka. You're the one that put me asleep. Don't you remember that at last? I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds so dark. I'm sorry, you were saying something? Were your parents related? That's my line, you fucking little cunt. Yeah, weird, huh? Get ready for an easy Ganon battle. This is nothing like the super boss we fought. It's much exactly like the first ever Ganon we fought. I don't know how we reflected that, but we did. Too bad it doesn't hurt him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're nothing compared to what we fought up to this point. He's exactly like the first Ganon of the start of the game. So if you can beat him, you can definitely beat him with your pimped out gear. He shouldn't be able to lay a damn hit on you, actually. Are you doing my practice right you? Just let me kill you, but this you're just spamming the fireballs, aren't you? Come on, I have an LP to finish. Alright, come on, shoot the energy ball. Stop being a poo poo face. There we go. He doesn't have that much health, but still, that's annoying. There we go, now we're getting the damage in. We can't cast those forever. Especially if you're, even on hard mode, this guy is nothing. Yeah, some bosses, once you get your good gear, they're nothing, even on hard mode. Because you'll become so powerful. It's like it's trivial, trivial at this point. So try beating the final boss like I did with, like, no gear at all. Yeah, I kind of had a lapse in concentration there. It was fun beating with nothing but my bat. Alright, come on, boy. You gotta be close to death. Ah. I don't care. That's my anger. I like my impatience. Alrighty, Captain Fudge Tunnels. It's over. Shoot the last energy ball so that Conqueror might smite you. There we go. This end. Have I reached before? What new adventure lies in store? And yet my hand is strong. I shall return the terror's reign, delaying not for long. Ha 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 ha. And with that, Ganon is defeated one last time. Alright, we have a mysterious hole, and we're gonna find out what's down there in just a moment.